Well, it looks like the dog has taken over for me. Bella Wella. Yeah, look at this. Bella Wella took over. Yeah, took over my chair. Here's my Bella Wella. My baby. My baby Bella. Now you're the baby. Hold on. You're my baby Bella. Bella baby. My Bella Wella. My Wella Bella. Your Wella Wella. I love you, my baby. You are my baby. Baby Bella. Are you giving kisses? Are you going to do my knitting for me? I mean, my crocheting? Well, my last video ended because the call came in. And I went to hit end. And unfortunately, I must have hit answer. And then when I did hit end, I see the video ended because the... There were, to me, when I said there's somebody at the door, I wound up being two dogs from my sister's house at the other end of the property near the bus stop. But my baby Bella taking over my job. And my baby. I made a snack at the same time. I don't know why I'm hungry. I had breakfast and lunch. I don't know why I'm hungry. So, uh, this is going to be mukbang, chatting, and crocheting. Uh, it's like that here. Hello? Could you get off my chair? No, no. 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 You need to get off my chair. Unless you're going to crochet for me. This dog is she spoiled. Spoiled, royaled. Bella good girly? No. 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 You know, buddy, don't take off the table. You got two bowls of food. No. 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 You know better than that. You guys got two bowls of food. Could you come down? Come on. No, come on. Come down. No, I didn't say turn around. I said come down. The dog has taken over my video. You have taken over. Yeah, you have taken over. What is this? My spoiled one, my Bella Wella. My Wella Bella. Your Wella Wella. Yeah, I'm glad you all are healthy. Thank God none of our dogs are sick. So, uh, you're my co-host. Come on. You gotta come down. Come on. Come on. Good girly. Yeah, good girly Bella. Good girl. Okay, goodbye. Well, now this video is going to be mukbang, crocheting, and chatting. The other video was about 46 minutes when Silly Eye ended it. Well, it wasn't intentional, but that's okay. And like I said a few moments ago, I don't know why I'm hungry. I had breakfast and lunch. So it's only about uh, 3.40 now. So what I'll do instead of having dinner, if I get hungry later, I'll just have a piece of fruit. Thank you, Jesus, for this food and drink and for everybody in my family having food and for us to be able to feed our pets and have gas for the cars for my sisters to get back and forth to work and for shelter and for laundry, food, uh, clothes and sneakers as we need it, toiletries. And uh, Father God, please help us to help those that are less fortunate, whether they're homeless or not, you put us here to help each other, not to kick each other and keep each other down. We're here to give each other a hand up, not a hand out. And I ask all this in your precious name. Amen. Oh. This is cottage cheese. Want some? I'll give you your own spoon and plate. And we got about four different... Play, uh, four different oh God, plates, four different breads, plus hot dog and hamburger buns. I didn't know which bread I wanted, so I just took a hamburger bun. And I always managed to wear the condiments. Um... For those watching my video, um, I don't have anything against anybody. 
but could you tell me where you're from and what you're eating or drinking? What are some popular foods and drinks for where you live, especially if you're overseas? I'm here in Florida in the United States. Um, this is a ham sandwich, um, cold cut. Ham is known as a cold cut. Um, ham, turkey, salami, bologna. Uh, there's you know, a whole bunch of things out there that are considered cold cuts. You can have potato salad or macaroni salad. Um, coleslaw with this. Uh, potato salad, macaroni salad, and coleslaw are good with hamburgers and hot dogs. Or a piece of ste steak or do I spit something? Or a piece of steak at um the uh, at a barbecue. Um, so just uh, let me know where you're from, what time of the day it is, and um, what are some holidays and traditions of your country or heritage, whatever the correct way of wording it is. And like I said, it's about three forty here. 3.40 p.m. Um, be nice to know what the different times are, differences are, and what country you're from. I know Canada has several time zones, one of which is Eastern Standard Time, like what I'm on. Um, but uh, I don't know if you want to tell me a little about yourself, and if you're working on a project, it doesn't have to be crafts. It could be renovating your house, or something work related whatever you want to tell me I really didn't plan on eating but like I said I'm hungry for some reason The other video, if it didn't end, that one probably would have been an hour or more. Like I said, I thought I was hitting end, but didn't. Um, if any other calls come in during this video, I'm not going to bother to answer them. I want to make it as long as possible. Sometimes I could do things and not end the video. Then there's other times I do something and I end up end ending it. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm... I'm sorry. Nobody likes seafood. Um, I'm working on a mermaid tail. The directions that I was using weren't working for me. So now I'm just making a cowl. I'm just going to make it nice and long. And, um, I'm going to just make the mermaid tail and sew it onto the bottom of it and sew the side of the cowl clothes. That's going to be the part for her the little girl's body. Sorry, used the wrong finger. I'm sorry, everybody. Like I said in my uh, last video, sometimes with my psoriasis, I uh, itch worse than before I shower. I don't know why. My face always itches more, and then when I'm in sh the shower, other parts on my body that have the psoriasis that's covered by my clothes. When I'm in the shower, sometimes I'm itching and I'm rubbing gently. Instead of itching and scratching, I'm rubbing gently with the washcloth. But my God, my psoriasis are uh, horrible with the itch. And um, the part that's uh, of psoriasis on my thighs, what is it, hurt at times? 
Um, thank God it cleared up mostly on my stomach, and that don't hurt as much anymore. In fact, I don't know when my the psoriasis on my stomach acted up. Now it gets a little flaky, but nothing to really speak of. But at one point it got really flaky, and it hurt, and um, I'm putting creams on it, I'm putting Vaseline on it, just to loosen up the flakes, and um, they'll be able to uh, let them soften up, and then if I do pick it off, I have to sweep the floor right away. But sometimes I, I don't always catch all the flakes, but um, sometimes if the flakes, oh my god, what a build-up sometimes. Though I saw some dust on the blanket. But like with the flakes, whatever I miss that does go on the floor, I sweep it up right away, and then I mop the floor right away. You know, just, you know, trying to keep any germs from uh, spreading. Besides crocheting, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I think I did most of my talking in the video that I accidentally cut off, uh, accidentally cut off when I went to hit end on the phone call. I got the sound off, so next time I just let it keep going. It doesn't affect the video when there's no sound. I keep looking out the uh, dining room table. Um, I got in one or two of my videos a while ago. Um, some kind of white birds. I forget what my youngest nephew said they were. I'm going to have to ask him. They're some kind of white bird. They remind me of pelicans, but they're not uh, pelicans. Sorry if any food is showing while I'm talking. Well, almost for, um, just about a 14 minute video and all I'm doing is talking to Nadine. How rude. Does anybody want anything? We have ham. We have turkey in cold cut form. We have cottage cheese. We have hot dogs, hamburgers. I'm not sure if we got potatoes or not. Can make, if we do, I do, I can make french fries. Plenty of coffee, just made a fresh pot. My sister has some tea bags, not much, assorted uh, tea bags. The closest BJ's to us is about an hour away. I'd love to get their tea bags from there because the regular tea bags, is, when I got them last, was wrapped in cellophane. It was a three pack. Then the decaf was two packs, was it two boxes? <coughs> I 
uh, wrapped in Soho, Soho Fain. Not cold and I got a little chill. Um, that's how I used to uh, like buying my tea bags uh, when we had the uh, BJ's membership. I love my tea. My late mom loved her tea. My dad liked his tea. Um, we should go for Tedley, Lipton. I think one is uh, tea is also Rose <coughs> brand. I'm not sure, but um, my dad would have his tea black with sugar. Mom and I have ours. Oh well, had mom had hers with milk only. She broke herself out of having sugar and tea when I was a kid. I was in my 30s when I broke myself out of sugar in my tea. Sometimes I need sugar in my coffee. Um, or even when I make it here at home. Coffee I'm not really fussy with. Though I do prefer flavored coffee. Um, French vanilla, mocha, caramel, um... I'm not sure what other flavors are out there. Mint. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. <coughs> <coughs> oh gosh, I'm sorry. Um, Dunkin' Donuts has a nice variety of coffees. Um, Starbucks do, does too. Outside of uh, Starbucks and McDonald's, I either have coffee at home, and it's just whatever we grab off the shelf, or... Um, once in a while, the we'll do a swap with the neighbors. You take this coffee, I'll take a loaf of bread. Um, can I have two loaves of bread? You take a dozen eggs, or a dozen and a half of eggs. We we'll just swap off whatever we have too much of. So I just didn't want it to fall on the floor or all over my clothes. My clothes are usually good for eating with me. A little water for my Wawa cup. Now, for the main thing of this video was to crochet and chat. <coughs> now it's mukbang, chatting and crocheting. I don't know what order I'm going to put in in the title of the video, but anyway, back to work. The God knows the blanket isn't going to make itself. Like I said in the uh, last uh, video that I cut off, I want to make <coughs> um, out of my Happy Meal while unboxing. Um, there was some yarn that I want to make myself a cowl, C O W L, and a shawl, S H A W L. And I spell it out for those that might be hard of hearing or have an English proper problem and need to write it down so they see it in writing and then they know what it is. Um, I speak a very little Spanish, but Spanish and Italian are easy to pick up. Um, French is easy. I had a Haitian bus driver. Um, he spoke English, French, Spanish, and Creole. The Creole I couldn't pick up on. Uh, he taught me a couple of uh, things in um, French, like, hello, how are you, um, fine. Uh, I think he also taught me thank you. I don't recall if he taught me how to say please and you're welcome or, or not. But um, I wish I would have uh, been around him a little more often to pick up at least on the French. Because when you go to um, Liberty and Ellis Island in Manhattan, New York... A lot of French there. I th I believe it was France that um gave us Lady Liberty. I'm not sure. The only part of history that I liked was um the maps. I love reading maps. I don't know why maps is uh, uh I love. Uh, put me in a building. I don't know north, south, east, and west. Put me on the streets, I know north, south, east, and west. If you know which streets run north and south, and which run east and west, you could always get yourself home. 
So that's I guess that's part of why I always took note of what was north, south, east, and west, especially the streets that I was on a lot. So this way, if you do wander off to go somewhere on a different street, well, if you get me back to such and such a street, I could head you towards such and such a street that will get me home. Well, close to home. Like, uh, with 301, it's north and south. So, I know I have to go north to go home to New York. I have to go north to go to Hampton to go to, um... The Kingdom Hall. And then coming home from New York, I know I have to go south. Coming home from the Kingdom Hall, Kingdom Hall in Hampton, I know I have to go south. But, um... Well, uh, but no, I care in Florida. I don't go out much. We're in the country. And all the streets are northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. So it's a little easier to get confused. Um... It's like the block we live on is northeast. And then when you get to the one main road near us, it's east and west. That'll take you to 301, which is north and south. So it depends where you're going. And then to get 95, um, I think you have to get, the, get it from the parkway. Because at one point, we always took 95 down to Florida, to and from Florida, and you kept off of 301, but now, um, 301 is, uh, pretty built up. Uh, so is 95, I mean, there's still a lot of desolate spots on both 95 and 301, but, um, it's, um, not as desolate as what it was, <coughs> excuse me, like 20, 30, 40 years ago. So I'm 53 now. I, I'm a March baby. But, um, like 40 years ago, 95 and 301 were so desolate compared to what they are now. Um, one was more desolate than the other when I was, you know, like 40 years ago. But, um, let's see right now, I was doing the other video. It's a little tight, so I gotta pull it a little harder and stop what I'm doing to pull some out. So that's why I pull it out. It's a pain in the neck having too much out because sometimes it gets tangled especially if you have to get up and take off for some reason it's like uh <coughs> excuse me but sometimes right now when my sister's out if she sends me a text she says come on let's go i'm throwing my yarn in a bag to take it with me to work on in the car and whatever i got loose oh poop i'm tangled up now but um sometimes and most of the time it only takes a few minutes to untangle She's, uh, <coughs> my sister's getting the kids from school now. I don't think we're going anywhere. At least I hope not. I mean, it's not too late in the day, but the kids do, um, have school tomorrow. So, it's only about four o'clock if that late. Um, but, um, you know, on school days, you, you want to try and be home by seven o'clock so you could just, you know, sit and relax and have a beverage or a snack. Or, um, just, you know, sit down and, you know, for a few minutes before bed or take a shower or a bath. I don't take baths because God knows I sit down, I won't get up out of the bathtub on my own. Between my knees, hips, and my weight, I never get the heck up. So I stick to our showers. Ah, 24 minutes, we're doing good. Hope to make this video at least an hour if I could. Like I said, the other one would have still kept going if I didn't attempt to answer the, uh, but, uh, well, I said, somebody's at the door, and I'm looking at the door, but, uh, when I got there, it was just the dogs, but I went to hit end on the phone call, and I must have hit answer, or was slightly off on end, and it just brought the phone call up, when I did hit end, um, but it went back to the video, but at that point it said, okay, we'll retry. And I didn't want to retry it, so I just started uploading it. That's fine. <clears throat> and, uh...
No, it helped. I uh, made myself a little something to eat. It's an early dinner. But so, like I said before, if I get hungry, I'll just have a piece of fruit. Or um, I can have a slice of butter with a uh, slice of butter. A slice of bread with some butter on it. Or um, even a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if I have to. I don't know why I was hungry. I had breakfast and lunch. I guess it was just one of those days. Well, it could be this uh, change of the seasons. I don't know. So I only did a short walk today. Um, I think it was about 9 or 8.30, 9 o'clock this morning. I uh, just took a short walk to our mailbox, put a letter in it, and came back home. Uh, I wanted to do a longer walk, but my back was hurting me a little bit. So I came home, uh, listened to some YouTube as I was crocheting. Um, then I stopped crocheting. I did some dishes. Uh, my sister made something in the crock pot. And she made some kind of pasta salad. Um, she made, uh, in the pasta salad, she puts uh, the tricolor pasta, um, cheese cubes, whether it's she buys the cubes of cheese or if she cuts cubes of cheese from what we have here at home already. Um, and if we don't have chunks of ham, like uh, today we didn't have um, chunks of ham. So, um, she put a few slices to, of ham together. She cut them in <coughs> little cubes, which was fine. Uh, make do with what you got. It really didn't hurt the recipe. Um, then with the chicken fajita, I don't know where the neighbor got it from. They had gotten, um, ba uh, bags of chicken and, uh, did some kind of sauce or juice or something. Um, and my sister put it in the crock pot. She added a can or two of corn to it. I had some of it with my lunch because we had a pasta that we had forgot about. Um, now for Easter Sunday, we ended up uh, <coughs> saying goodbye to our family friend that uh, my sister went to school with. And um, we went to the hotel they were staying at, said our goodbyes, went to church. And then after church, I think we could ho came home and stood home for the day. Oh, yeah, um, Easter after we came home from church, um, I guess it was about 4 or 5 o'clock, we had gone to my younger sister's house near the, the other near property near the bus stop. She did an Easter egg hunt for the kids. She had a bunch of food set up. Uh, from here we brought it was a bottle of orange soda and I think some juice. I think it was orange soda. Definitely an orange soda. Oh, we went warm while we bought some, I think, cookies and donuts. Cookies, donuts, and maybe a little cake. Um, but, you know, it was nice. The kids, uh, we had the kids all, all the way from 5 up till, I think, 20. Well, 19 and 20-year-olds aren't kids. But, um, it was, uh, the youngest was 5, and... Like I said, the oldest one was like 20. Um, but it was nice even seeing the 20 year olds uh, let their hair down and just enjoy uh, the um, you know, the day. Uh, I do have videos of our Easter um, here on YouTube. I don't like holidays because they're, uh, lately they're all money making. Now, even when I was a kid, um, you were happy with whatever you got, a little basket with some candies and cookies or some fruit. Or for Christmas, whatever you got under the tree, you were happy with. Um, even for Thanksgiving, you had a, you know, a turkey, the side dishes. You made some cookies or you no know, apple pie or cherry pie. My grandmother was great for her cheesecake recipe. And her fruit cake. I wasn't fond of the fruit cake, but when she made it, I ate it. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it was. There's just something about the fruit cake that I didn't like. But no, I wasn't going to hurt her feelings. She knew I didn't like it, but I wasn't going to hurt her feelings and not eat it. Um, her cheesecake, oh my God, was to die for. Her cheesecake was the best. My grandmother loved knitting. Uh, her and I took 
She taught me how to knit when I was 11. That was my mom's mom. Uh, we took crocheting and adult education at the high school that I went to. Um, together when I was in my mid-20s. Um, I also took quilting and adult ed also in my mid-20s. Whatever sewing I know, I took in junior high in home, home economics class. I miss home economics class. That was, was why I joined Homemakers in New York. I learned an awful lot there. Um, I paid my dues through 2019. So 2011 to 2019, I was a paid member. And now 2020, I didn't pay. Because, uh, you know, with Corona, they weren't really having any meetings. Um, the 2021 now, but now whether it's 2020 or 2021 now, um, when I do hit up New York, it's the meetings aren't in a uh, session. It was nice being <coughs> paid up because if for some reason we had to go to New York for maybe a funeral or some sort of emergency for my brother or anybody else that we know in New York, you know, it's nice to be, you know, paid up. But if uh, we end up going because of a funeral or, um, or some sort of emergency, I could always uh, hit up homemakers then and uh, just pay the dues. Not a big deal. No, I just like being paid up, so this way if um, I do end up in New York, I just have to teach one class and do one hospitality, which is, um, what is it? Uh, you know, cake, coffee at our, our monthly meeting. And that's only if I'm there for the monthly meeting. Um, let's see. Row six is done. Okay, six. Through eight is repeat rows two through four. Um, and like I said in the last video, uh, I'm going to do, I'm doing the blue. Then I'm going to do pink. Um, then I have a two-tone purple. Then I'm going to do pink. And more two-tone purple, pink, dark purple. Because uh, the little girl I'm making it for is going to be 9 in October. No, I'm sorry, 9 in November. Because Avery's going to be... She was born in November of 2012. Avery was born in May of 2013. So she's like 6, 7 months older than Avery. So Avery's going to be 8 next month. And then this girl will be 9 in November. Oh, answer call. I'm not going to answer it. She says, uh, the video will stop when, uh, I answer the call. I do that, then it's, I'm not, it's gonna be another video, so I'm not, uh, answering it. I don't need to answer it. Unless it's family, then I'll answer it. But, um, <clears throat> unless it's family, I'm not gonna answer it, because then the video is gonna end. I don't want to end the video. I, mean, I don't want to end it either if it's family, but at least if it's family, they probably tell me, you know, come on, let's go. We're going to go out for a snack or whatever. <clears throat> if my sister texts a call saying that we're going out to eat, I'll just have to take a longer walk tomorrow and do my little exercises a couple of times. I'll just do, um, like, arm, lift my arms up and down. Lift them up and down, then do them behind me. And I do the same with my legs. Oh, what a noise that was with my stinking crochet hook. It's like if you're not putting it on the table and trying to stick it in my, oh, for my leg to hold. Oh, gosh, I'll be right back. Didn't fall far. I'll try not to have my big duper in the video. There we go. Uh, my grandmother always used the word um, dupa. Uh, my grandmother, um, she got conflicting stories on her mom. 
she was told that her mom died at birth. Then she was told her mom died when she was two. So we don't know when her mom died. And uh, she was raised in a Catholic home, but she wasn't Catholic. But because she was raised Catholic, that's what she stood. Um, and she, excuse me, um, and she was told she was Ukrainian. She was told she was Austrian. Um, she was told she was Hungarian. Um, Ukrainian. Uh, Ukrainian. Uh, Austrian. I think there was something else she was uh, told she was. I forget what. But um, she really don't know what she was. Her father was a drunk and couldn't take care of her and her brother. She uh, was in touch with her brother for a while. Then they lost touch. Um, I think it was after her brother was out of the service when she was able to locate him again. Then they kept in touch for a couple of years and lost touch. Uh, my grandmother, see my father, if he was still alive, he would be um, 96. And my grandmother, I believe, was six years older than him. As my grandmother was born in 1919, and my father was born 1925. Um, he was 21 when my mother was born. Um, I have three brothers brothers by a previous marriage, uh, you know, from dad. But, um, you know, it's uh, something how, uh, you know, when you raised in a home back then, they didn't know what she was. Russian, Ukrainian, Australian, not Australia, Austrian, Austria. Just uh, Australia and Austria, two different countries. Um, and then dad, his mom was born in Russia, but he was raised with the uh, Jewish religion. They were non-practicing Jews, so um, we know nothing about our Jewish side. Um, excuse me if I offended anybody by saying they were not practicing Jews. I didn't mean to offend anybody if I did. But, um, I guess if we go online we could find out about our, you know, Jewish, uh, side. But then, you know, I don't mind knowing the Jewish side. But then, uh, you know, the holidays and everything. And like I said, the holidays are money making. It's, uh, you know, the prices are inflated. Um come holiday time. The stores they have one TV. Uh, I forget what state it was in. We were living in New York at the time. The idiots they, I shouldn't call anybody an idiot but they're trampling the security guard. He says you're trampling me. You're trampling me. Get off me. Let me get up. They continued trampling the guy and they killed him. Now there's kids with no father. Well, they're probably adults by now but there were kids with no father a wife with no husband he may have been the only source of income and this is what you do to the people? I mean, over one measly TV? Buy the stupid TV at regular price. Well, wait till it goes on sale. You gotta kill a person over a TV that you didn't even get? That's not what the holidays are about. And when Jesus walked the earth, there were no holidays except for the Passover. That was the only holiday that Jesus celebrated. I didn't see Jesus kill anybody. Well, the disciples or anybody else kill anybody over a holiday. I mean, uh, it's, uh, the holidays are all greedy. What did you get me? How much did you spend on me? Oh, this is all you got me? I didn't want it in this color. I wanted it in that color. I didn't want Jordans. I wanted Nike. I didn't want a green car. I wanted a yellow car. What the hell difference does it make? Excuse me for using the word hell. A lot of people consider hell a curse. But it's at the point where... How about worrying about spending time with family? If you want to buy your family, each uh, each person, a gift, fine, buy them a gift. But why do you have to kill people? <coughs> why do you have to worry about spending $50 on each person because somebody's offended if you spend $51 or $49? You know, you spend $2 more on this one, you spend a dollar more on that one. Who cares? You have a roof over your head, you have food in the house, you have plain clothes, whether it be through a laundromat. Or the, having a laundry room. Um, whether or not you have a dishwasher. You know, not all places have them. We don't have a dishwasher here. 
I don't know where we'd put it. Um, but you have a roof over your head. You have a refrigerator at least half full, a freezer half full. If you're lucky enough to have a little pan uh, man-made pantry like what we did, uh, just a couple of a rack with a couple of shelves on it, you're lucky to have everything in the house that you need. And you're gonna argue over gifts and prices? I don't. I don't need gifts. Give me a thing of yarn, and I'm happy. Give me a book with a bunch of knitting and crocheting patterns. And I'm happy. Give me a rug hook, and I'm happy. Um, my niece does, at one time did. Um, what the heck was it? Scrapbooking. I don't think she does it anymore. I haven't seen her do it since we've been here in Florida. I don't own the rights to Wawa. I have to remember to put that in the description. I didn't do it for the last video. So I'll have to edit, hit edit and either put it in the description or put it in the comments. Um, but, uh, okay, whatever happened to family time? Having a meal or a snack, some beverages, and watching a movie, or playing a couple of board games, or the adults are watching TV talking. And the kids are playing at the table with board games, or they're in their rooms playing with their, to their toys, their cousins, whatever. And I did have the chills in my now. I'm not cold. I don't know why I have chills. Um, that's not a bump in my head. My head. Um, I took a shower about one one thirty, and I'm just a train wreck. I usually have my hair up, but I just combed my hair right before I started doing my videos. Um, now I didn't want to put it up right away when I make sure it was dry, so I'm just keeping it down for now. If I keep it down all the time, I'd want to chop it off. But, um, you no, know, I'm more on family time than I am worrying about gifts. Um, even if it's just a car ride around the block or down the block or whatever. Just, you know, or going to Walmart and just buying a couple of things, or the dollar store, or Dollar General, and just getting a couple of things. So I'm happy doing that. I don't care about gifts and, um, you know, uh, everything. Gifts don't mean family time. Just, you know, getting together for a meal, or watching a movie, going for a car ride, or to the mall. I know when we go to the mall, we'll walk around together for a little while, then we... Um, go our own separate ways or whatever for a little bit then we meet up have something to eat go home Do I heard a car door Family might be home. I don't know But this video is 43 minutes stupid me cut the because I went to hit end and Didn't and I got cut off at 46 minutes. This video would have been over an that video would have been over an hour if I didn't mess up. That's okay. This one will be hopefully an hour or more. It's at four, almost 40, it's at 43 minutes and almost a half, 43 and a half minutes. Hopefully I could have this video at least an hour before the family gets home. Sometimes when my sister picks the kids up, she'll run and do a little bit grocery shopping. Or um, if the kids need something, the show, take them to the store, get them what they need. Or sometimes she'll just stop and get them a snack on the way home. Depending on the snack or whatever, sometimes she'll bring me something too. I really don't need a snack all that much. I'm trying to lose weight and watch what I eat. And if I can't watch what I eat, I try and eat less of what we do have that's not healthy we're not um i'm not vegetarian i wouldn't mind being a vegetarian maybe you know a couple of months out of the year and so vegetarians and vegans i were told don't always get all their vitamins <coughs> i don't know but um you could eat unhealthy and still not have all the necessary amounts of whatever you're supposed to have in your body.
Once the dog making noise, I thought somebody was talking. I'm like, what the, what's going on? I'm home alone. What's the uh, dog? I think she's snoring. One of the chihuahuas. <sighs> Sorry if there's some silence in the video at times. Just running out of stuff to talk about. I said most, mostly everything in the other video. Another call coming in. I'm not answering it. I don't need to answer it. Not saved in my phone. I don't need to talk to you. If it's important enough, they'll leave a message. The best part is when they turn around and um, the voicemail kicks in. Instead of hanging up right away, they just let you listen to dead air and then eventually you hear a click. If you're not going to leave a message, just hang up right away. Excuse me. And then when they do call, oh, you filled out a survey for this, you filled out a survey for that. Yes, I filled out the survey, but I didn't fill out anything saying that I was willing to talk to you. And then they call you up, get like 40 calls. Oh, well, health insurance this, health insurance that. I have health insurance, take me off your list. And it's at the point where, yeah, 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 and they take you off the list, but they call you from a different phone number. So it's at the point where now what I do, I start blocking everybody. If I look at if I need somebody's services, I'll just call them. I have health insurance. I do have health issues, but thank God. Um... I haven't. Uh, I was hospitals, hospitalized September of 2020 because they didn't know if I had psoriasis or if I had cellulitis or if it was a combination of the two. They never did quite figure out what it was. Th uh, three doctors said they didn't know. Two other doctors say it was psoriasis with cellulitis. Another one said it was uh, psoriasis only. Another one said it was cellulitis only. Another one that I thought was the combination of the two. And I don't even think they knew what it was, but I had a three-day vacation. Um, went in on a Saturday night, got admitted Saturday night, came home Tuesday. It was, I think, 10.30 at night when I... 10.30 on a Saturday night when I got admitted. It was definitely a Saturday. And then I was there Sunday, Monday, and then came home Tuesday. But this was back in September. Oh, great. 48 minutes. It's two minutes past what the last video ended at. And like I said, I'm going to keep this one going as long as possible. <sighs> now, I'm glad since my phone uh, updated, uh, this weekend that just passed was... Today's Monday. Last weekend was Easter, so the weekend before that, so two weekends ago, my phone said, update, uh, it said, I need an update, so it said, schedule now or later, so I did it right then and there, and then, I recall if I, uh, the update went in, it was Saturday or Sunday, but a couple of days later, that Tuesday, I figured my video was going to shut off at the 33 minutes and anywhere from 9 to 11 seconds like it always does. Kept going and going and going. So I said, woohoo! More video time. Which is good because I was praying for more video time. Instead of having to make three 33 minute videos, now I could maybe do one whole video. Now I know a lot of people may not want to listen to a you know, listen to or watch a video that's over an hour, but some people do, especially when they're knitting or crocheting. They want somebody to knit or crochet with them. So far, all well, my videos are either knitting or crocheting, not both in one. But um, I think I'm eventually going to do um, knitting or crocheting and 
my videos after I'm done with this blanket. Even if it means just crocheting a couple of small projects, knitting a couple of small projects. They're you know, just to, uh, enough to keep the video going and hold the person's interest. My grandmother uh, did macrame. She uh, didn't know enough of it to teach me. She learned that late in life. I heard somebody on the porch. If the family is home, I'm not sure how much longer the I'm going to keep the video going. I hear dogs barking outside, so that's why I'm thinking there's somebody on the property. And it's probably just my family coming home, or um, no other other tenants on the property, including my sister and her younger sister and her family, maybe just taking a walk. Or well, maybe uh, something needs to be done in one of the other dwellings and they're going to see my future brother-in-law. I don't know if something needs to be done or not. If it doesn't concern me, I do my best to mind my business. This video is 51 minutes. I hope to make it at least an hour. Now, people like having somebody knit with them or crochet with them or doing some kind of craft with them while they're doing their craft. Oh, yeah, I just started a yawning effect. Sorry, everybody. And sorry you hear the AC in the background. It's a gorgeous day out. I should be video out videoing outside a little bit of the yard but maybe tomorrow I could take a bit of a walk and get some videoing in but I do want to do uh, at least one video of some of my goodies from the fairground um, when we were at the carnival um, I did one today on some of the things that I had gotten from some of the tables that were free um, before we got to the carnival site. It was also on the same uh, grounds as the carnival. It's just a little building that we walked through that had tables set up. So I did, uh, I was supposed to redo, I was supposed to do the two videos, you know, the next day, and I never did. So I got, finally got one today. Then I'm going to do one of just the pamphlets, and then I'm going to do a separate one of just the coloring books. I want to try and vary the uh, videos up a little bit. I want my uh, channel, when it does come to get monetized, I want to do my channel be like a homemakers or home economics, prepping, homesteading. I'd like for it to uh, be a little bit of everything. So I'm trying to do a little bit of everything. I even got one um, playlist that's got chores. I don't recall how many videos are in it. Um, I remember doing a couple with folding clothes. Um, I think I got definitely one, maybe two uh, doing dishes. Definitely one transferring clothes from the washer to the dryer and maybe restarting the washer machine with something else. So I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. Um, I do eventually want to start canning food. I want to um, also start doing candle making, soap making. Um, and even if I have to do like a little garden indoors, set up a tiny little table in the corner somewhere and just do some vegetables or and or uh, a couple of flowers or plants of some sort. Oh, we'll figure it out. And what I'll also be doing on video, now my sister was kind enough to print out some directions for me, so um, I have a bunch of other projects that I'm going to be wanting to work on. Uh, after I'm done with this, I'm going to pick up uh, again with my goals for 2021. Um, I accidentally gave a few things of mine, uh, to the thrift shop to be sold instead of 
holding on to them for the net. No, so I was able to have a bunch of stuff to sell at once, but that's fine. Um, so I'm doing now, I have a few things in a bag. I gotta find the bag that's in my closet. Um, I'm gonna have to bring in a reusable bag from my shed. And when I go through the closet, maybe over the weekend, when I'm usually not in the shed, um, and start organizing the closet. And then when I find the bag uh, with the granny squares to make that into a tree, I'll do that. I have to find the bag in the closet with the puppet that needs to be sewn. I got leg warmers that need to be sewn, so that's going to be another video. Uh, this might make an hour. It's uh, just about 56 minutes. Uh, sorry I'm watching the time so much on here. Um, but uh, I do have a few other things that I do want to video. Um, the tree will probably be one video by itself. Because uh, that will probably take me a little while to do. That might end up being at least... Uh, 45 minute to or more video and then uh, sewing the leg warmers and the puppets will be probably be about the uh, same a 45 minute or so video then I'll uh, probably pick out some buttons for the puppets and do a video of you know decorating the puppets you know, uh, with their faces um, no, that won't be a long video uh, Unless I have a lot of puppets, but uh, if I'm only doing three or four puppets, it won't take that long to put their faces on. I don't know why I'm belching a lot. I don't know. It's okay. I'm alright. I'd rather belch than be gassy. Because the gas pains, they sometimes hurt. And then you have to go to the bathroom and it's not helping and so I'd rather have the belching aspect of it or burping, whatever the correct terminology is. Okay, I'll mark off row seven. So I'm doing row eight now. Nine and ten. Repeat row two. Okay. And then after uh, the sixteen um rows to this so I'm going to do 32 rows in each color I'm going to do the pink next the two-tone purple more pink more two-tone purple more pink and then the dark purple then I might do a little more pink and then because I got to save some for the mermaid tail because what I might do do uh, the pink after the pink, do the two-tone purple, do some more pink, and then do the dark purple. And leave the other two-tone purple for maybe the mermaid tail. I gotta see as I go along. And I'll be doing, hopefully, most of it on video. Even if it means, um, after uh, my oldest niece is on the bus stop, uh, even means if I don't have the dishes done by the time she goes for the bus, then I will do the dishes, uh, take my walk, do what I could in my shed, and then um, put this on the table so I don't drop it again. Um, what I do, because I have trouble bending sometimes, I'll pick it up by the scissors. And then I pick it up that way because I'll have my hand resting on the table or the wall, holding the wall, and then I pick it up. Mm -hmm. Woohoo, this is going to be an hour long video. Thank you, Jesus. If I didn't accidentally cut the other one off, it would have been counting this one, it would have been almost a two hour video. That's okay, I'm going to keep this one going as long as I could. Uh, can't tell the, the clock from here. On the microwave, it's uh, for something in the afternoon. I do have to be done by 5 because uh, from 5 to 6, I take the prayer request for one of the channels that I watch here on YouTube. 
the alarm will go off at 10 to 5 to give me, let me know that it's time to get the paper to, um, that I write the, my paper that I write the prayer request on. Then, um, I'll go to the bathroom, I'll get a drink, but, you know, if I'm a few minutes late, that's fine as well. I'm pretty good at shutting the alarms off without disconnecting the video. Now, if I'm five minutes late, um, to the, the prayer request lady, it's no big deal. She don't hold me right to a T. If I miss a couple of prayer requests, she just, when I, uh, get on and she sees I'm there, she'll just, uh, tell me what they were and I write them down. Then near the end of her live, I'll, um, write them all down for everybody to see and they could screenshot them so they could use it for their prayers. Uh, when they pray and then what she does she puts it on her community tab on here on YouTube and on her Facebook page she uh, puts the prayers as well so if you don't have her on YouTube you have her on Facebook or for those of us that have her in uh, both places it's a uh, knit pro and squirrel with granny D she's on Monday Wednesday and Friday from 5 to 6 p.m. And then Saturday and Sunday at three o'clock at three p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Central is one hour behind us, so it's uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, just looking, uh, the f I see the field here. The uh, one cow she was running. I'm sorry, I got psoriasis behind my ear. So whenever the back of my ear itches and I scratch it, sometimes the inside of my ear uh, itches. But I'm glad we're getting plenty of talking and crocheting done. Or knitting or whatever it is that you're working on. Macrame, rug hooking, hooking rug hooking, tatting, embroidery, um, scrapbooking or just whatever you're doing. We're crafting together. I should try and do at least one video a week. At least an hour long of just crafting. So that this way, you know, uh, other people have... Um, some crafts to do with them. I have plenty of 33 minute videos of me crafting, um, in the way of knitting or crocheting. So, um, you no know, people could always go to those, or I could, uh, do a couple of videos where I'm cr uh, knitting or crocheting for a half hour, or uh, do one video where it's, uh, one video, half hour crocheting, one video half hour knitting, one video 15 minutes knitting, 15 minutes crocheting, then do another half hour one, 15 minutes crocheting, then 15 minutes knitting, reverse them. Um, it'll vary it up a little bit for everybody. But I'd like to try and do a few of them that are like an hour, uh, hour and a half uh, of uh, crafting. Uh, since the phone is updated, I don't know how far it's going to let me go before it just stops. I've never done more than an hour, an hour and three minutes um, on a video since it updated. I was just looking at my notes too remind myself where I was and what I was doing in the pattern. <sighs> if anybody wants to stay in the comments what they're working on, uh, feel free to. I thought I heard some kind of squealing noise. 
but it might be like a machine or something. It might be one of your neighbors using something. So I'm the only one here, so I'm not using any machinery. I don't know if a knitting needle, I mean, a crochet hook is a machinery or not. I guess it is, but it will be making a squealing noise. Oh, sorry, I'm creating a yawning effect already. Again, I'm an hour and five minutes. So, I was always uh, getting a nice amount of time on the video. I'm so glad I'm getting all this extra time. More time to uh, craft with my uh, viewers. Instead of having to watch the time. Oh, gee, we're going to get cut off in nine seconds or... Uh, 10 seconds, 11 seconds, and I have to do another part to the video, and I just like doing as much as possible in one video if I can. Sometimes it's better to have one or two long videos than, you know, uh, 15 small ones to get your point across. Once this is done, I'm going to start concentrating on making things to sell at a flea market that my sister and I want to do. Um, we're not going to do it every weekend. We don't have that much stuff to do it every weekend. But um, you know, even if I have you know, 15 to 20 bins full of stuff um, for the flea market, I don't have, my sister don't have enough room in her car to put 15 to 20 huge totes um, and there'd be no sense renting out a uh, pickup truck or some kind of van to get it all in we couldn't even rent a, a u-haul or some other moving truck for the day because we'd have to me, we have the kids with us and I don't drive so we need somebody to drive the moving truck and we need somebody to drive her car. So, it wouldn't be worth it. Unless somebody drives the truck there, brings it home, and then she drives with us in the car. But, no sense having 15 bins full of stuff when there's a good chance it ain't all gonna sell. So I'd rather bring, say, three uh, totes, or bids, whatever you want to call them, um, and just have a little bit of everything, and if stuff sells out, I could tell them, well, now my sister, hey, would you mind going home and getting some more of this, or some more of that? <coughs> and she probably wouldn't mind. I'd give her gas money. I don't recall if I asked it yet in this video. Uh, if I did, forgive me. What's everybody working on? Or um, are you having something to eat? Uh, are you going to bed or just getting up for the day? You know, depending on where you are. Oh gosh, sorry if I got everybody yawning. I would do this on my chair on the porch, but I don't have... Well, we do have a little table in here that I could sit the yarn on and uh, crochet outside. But all you'd see in the house is the video, and the video would be the back of the house. 
Unless I sit backwards and you see the trees in the yard, the driveway. We'll see, maybe one day I'll sit outside on the porch and let you see the yard in the background. I'll sit facing the house. Who knows, you might see some squirrels or birds and whatever going about. I don't know why I'm yawning. I slept decent last night. Again, I don't own the rights to Wawa. I forgot to put that in the description of the last video. I'll have to, um... Do it after the video uploads. Zero, 09 and 10. Do row 2 twice. Okay, two rows of double crochet. I'm going to have to, uh, to watch the length on it. Uh, it's for a nine-year-old girl, and by the time she, uh, even if I make it long enough for her to, f for her to use it until she's 11, 11 years old, I don't know if she'll still want to be using it then. But, um, you know, these kids, they grow up too quick. But I'd uh, probably make it long enough to fit her till she was 11. Because um, it seems like the kids, as they get tall, it seems like they uh, thin out a little bit. Not, uh, she's not a fat. <laughs> I'm not talking about my niece's girlfriend because she's really not fat. But um, most kids, it seems like if they are a little chunky, seems like as they get taller, they uh, thin out. But uh, I'm not by any means calling her or any other kid fat because uh, she's not fat. But um, it's uh, you no, know, it'd be nice if uh, she could use it till she's eleven. Well, we'll see. I do have enough yarn to make it plenty long if I have to. I won't use it all, but uh, if I do, I do. The only thing I might use all of, depending on how long I make it, is the blue. But um, if I don't, I don't. That's fine. I can make puppets or granny squares or whatever with it. Gosh, I'm sorry, everybody. Keep you warning. I gotta leave you guys a second. I need the restroom. I'll be quick.
everybody. I just started washing my hands. I just wanted to wash them in the kitchen here. So you guys know I wash my hands. Yeah, it's about 4.42, everybody. I'm going to have to end this video in about 20 minutes. Uh, because I do the prayer request for Nate Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D at 5 o'clock. So, my alarm will go off, I believe, 4.50 or 4.55 p.m. So, when the video goes off... Uh, when the alarm goes off, we'll then keep track of the time on the counter or when I have to stop the video. We're at, at an hour and 17 minutes, so we're not doing bad. So, I got another 20 minutes, so we're doing good. Getting a lot accomplished. I don't mind doing long videos if I'm getting a lot accomplished on it. And like I said, tomorrow I got to take my walk, hopefully do some stuff in my shed, even if it's only a half hour. Then after the shed, I have to shower. I come in sweating like a pig. Um, and then uh, after I shower, I'll probably have a little lunch. Then I'll make those other videos, or at least one video of some of the stuff from the fairgrounds. And then do a bunch of crocheting. And then we'll see Wednesday because I have um, that job place I want to sign up with. See if I could uh, get a little job or for a couple of days when my sister's off. She'll uh, when her new schedule starts, she'll be off Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So even if I just get hired for two or three of those days, I don't care. Just um, you know, if I work two days, fine. If I work Get to work all four days, that's even better. But, um, I, uh, one of, uh, at least work a little bit so I could help my sister with the rent and the electric. I want to be able to buy, uh, my own toiletries, which, thank God, I've been able to do out of, uh, whatever little bit I get from the thrift shop. Um, from what I do sell there on personal items and, uh, crafts items. Um, But if I could have a real job on top of it, why not? I'd still be using the thrift shop to uh, sell stuff for me. Work is work. I don't care where it's coming from. I mean, as long as it's all legal, of course. I would never go work in a strip club or anything like that. Um, I'm not a bartender, but I wouldn't want a job like that only for the simple reason you know people get drunk fights break out and you know, all that uh, stuff that's not something I want to be around <coughs> and then when a the person gets too drunk you stop serving them then they get ticked off at you this that and everything else that's not something I want to do I want a job where I'll be happy where the, uh, where the customers will be happy um no, I don't know if it was a text message or if there was uh, leaving a message, uh, a uh, comment on my one of my videos. I'll see the woman at uh, Nip Pro on Squirrel with Granny D. If I don't remember to put the shout out in the description, I'll just um, do it after the uh, video is uploaded. I got a couple of other videos. I was supposed to upload stuff in the description and never did. But as I watch the videos, I'll do it. One twenty-one. 
So this video will be at least an hour and a half. Or maybe a little longer. It'll be a nice size video. It'll take forever to upload, but that's okay. I hope to make an hour and a half before my family gets home. Once it hits the hour and a half mark, I don't care then if I have to end it. But, um, it'll probably be a little bit longer. Um, if I maybe I'll go until 5 o'clock. You know, some of my videos, when I watch them, when there's silence, I'm like, why is it so quiet? And I look at the video, oh, yes, yeah, some quiet time. Or de-stressing, whatever you want to call it. What's the matter, girl? Sorry if I had my mouth hanging open. It was rude, I'm sorry. Oh gosh. Like I said, I slept decent last night. I don't know why I'm yawning. Oh, goodness gracious. Gracious me. Goodness gracious.
Again, I don't own the rights to Wawa. Hopefully I'll remember to put that in the description. If not, I'll do it after the video uploads. Hope everybody's enjoying a little bit of quiet time. Here we got five more minutes. It's 129, 33, 1, 2, 33, 34. I'll probably end this at um, an hour and 35 minutes. But sometimes uh, she comes on a minute or two late. No, she's probably uh, using that uh, time to finish setting up or whatever. Well, even if I go an hour and 40 minutes, it's no big deal if I'm by her five minutes late. There were times when I got to her five or ten minutes late and I wasn't doing a video beforehand. It is what it is. to probably add a little bit more coffee to my cup to get through the evening. It was uh, one weekend, I forget where my sister and the kids were, one Sunday, and I went on my walk, I'm doing my videos, I ended up getting to um, uh, Granny D a half hour late. I apologize. She understood. Uh, somebody else started the prayers and um, they put them in the chat. Um, you no, know, uh, after I got set, said, no, I'm here. I'm settled. Sorry, I'm late. And uh, whoever started the prayer request uh, did it. Uh, you no, know, uh, maybe five minutes away to put the prayers in. Uh, when I was settled for me to write them down real quick, then I put them in maybe five or ten minutes before her show ones. If I start the show, which I usually do, um, about 15 minutes before the show ends, uh, then I put them in. So this way people have time to uh, screenshot it and uh, have it for their um, prayer list.
what I might do, uh, go an hour and 45 minutes, and then uh, go to her. I'll be 10 minutes late, but that's fine. I'll just tell her I'm here, I need two minutes, and um, she'll be fine with that. Unless my family comes home first. But if I get to uh, Granny D 10 minutes late, she'll be fine. Most uh, the first 10, 15 minutes is basically everybody just saying hello, how are you to each other anyway. And what are we drinking? What are we working on? What are we having for dinner? So usually the uh, first 10 or 15 minutes is usually no prayer request anyway. But I still like to be um, on time. On a rare occasion, there'll be a prayer request in the beginning. But it's usually an extreme rare occasion and partially because maybe the person isn't staying uh, for the whole um, hour live stream. doing 10 so hopefully I'll have these uh, last uh, eight rows done tonight and then uh, get started on the pink tomorrow Oh shoot, battery power 5%. I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. Another 10 minutes. You know what, I'm going to end this video now because I don't want the phone to die while uh, I'm recording. Have a great day everybody, bye.